Jim Dibble has been on a mission for more than three decades. Learn more about his uncle James, a fighter pilot shot down by the Germans on September 9th, 1943. He's already solved lots of mysteries, even found the crash site. But Jim's journey continues. We are so excited to have him here to tell us more about his uncle and his brave actions during World War II. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. So tell me a little bit about the story and, and what you started knowing and, and how much you've learned in your adventure. Well, we didn't know anything. We knew that uh, my uncle, as you stated, was shot down uh, September 9th near a small town in uh, P uh, Padula, Italy. And uh, at that point, he was missing action. Um, he crash landed. He was shot and killed by the Germans after he crash landed. And the Germans took all of his personal identification. So he was an unknown soldier. Um, and that's basically all we knew. Um, and that's the way the story was left. Um, actually, it was reported he, he bailed out of his airplane. He didn't actually bail out. His wingman was also shot down. And, um, and so we thought, you know, one day maybe he'd come walking out yeah. of Italy and, and whatever. But then three years later, his remains were identified. He was initially buried at the Naples U.S. Military Cemetery in Naples, Italy. And that's all we knew. And then. I went to the U.S. Air Force Museum in Dayton, Ohio in 1986, and there was a picture on the wall of uh, a P-38 hit the plane that he flew, P Lockheed P-38 Lightning, and it was in the North African area where he was based, and there was a bunch of pilots sitting there, and they were being addressed by their world, the World War I commander, very famous uh, pilot, Eddie Rickenbacker, and I thought, well, what's the chances that he's there, he's in the picture? Sure. And so that was the catalyst that started the whole investigation. So I started to find information and f meet all the pilots that he flew with and started to learn everything about what he was doing, all of his missions and everything. Wow. It, was, uh, it was amazing. And in, that, in the information that I got, uh, I've got the case history of an unknown soldier, and in that case history was a map with the grid coordinates of his gra uh, crash site. So I went to the Library of Congress, they have a map division, found the map, ran the coordinates, went to Italy <laughs> with my metal detector, yeah. and found, found his crash site. But the bulk of his plane wasn't there. It was just little pieces and things, and so we always wondered what happened to his airplane. And so... Um, Right about that time, we've hooked up with a company that does satellite nuclear magnetic resonance imaging huh. and asked them if they could look for aluminum and iron, and they did. And in a river about 500 meters straight west of where my uncle's plane crashed is a huge mass of aluminum and iron. It's about four or five feet underneath the surface. So we figured... This has to be it. Sure. This has to be it. So what we've recently done is establish a GoFundMe project called Project Find Mickey. Mickey okay. was the name of his airplane. It was his wife's name. He had a painted nose art on his plane. Uh -huh. And our objective is to excavate the Tanagro River and recover what we believe are the remains of my uncle's airplane. Wow. I mean, what a mission. Yeah, it's great. Y you know... I what have you liked most about doing this and learning all of this in, in, in your journey here? Well, my uncle was my namesake. And it just, I was been interested in it my entire life. But as we began to learn more about what my uncle was doing, and it was incredible the things he was doing. At 21, right. um, my, I had two, obje two objectives. One was I wanted to be able to tell the stories that he would have told had he survived. And the other was, uh, I just never wanted it to be forgotten. Yeah, right. I mean, there's, that's, that's so admirable and so wonderful. Yeah. And he was a true hero. I mean, he, he was, was honored by the Italians yes. after his death. Yes, well, as it turned out, in this town where he crash landed, um, this where the Germans were stationed and they were all moving up because September 9th was the day that the U.S. 5th Army was landing at Salerno, Italy, the invasion of Italy. And so the Germans were based here and as soon as they found out that the Americans were landing, they started to convoy up to Salerno and that's the convoy that my 
Uncle Squadron attacked. And um, it, it just was, um, you know, amazing. Sure. And uh, yeah. well, a great story. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Jim, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Yes. So if people want to help you, um, you have the GoFundMe page. Search Project Find Mickey. Yes. Um, and, and hopefully we can raise enough money to get you back there to excavate his plane. Yeah, and then, right. then we can have another... Then another, we have another, another story. Another story we will come and, back. and show you the show you the uh, Mickey fighter plane. I love it. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you for inviting me. Good luck. Yeah. We'll be right back.